no doubt that the Russians did interfere in the election. And I think the interference, although not yet quantified, uh, if fully investigated, would show that Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. He lost the election, and he was put into office because the Russians interfered. Putin controls the media. Russia doesn't have a free media, so by the time they get through whipping everybody up, he can maintain popularity longer than he should. Man. There, are, there is a thriving reform movement in Kiev with the new mayor, Mayor Klitschkov, than the rest of the country. We need to make sure they've got equipment and other support. And they're not NATO members. We can't commit to put troops on the ground. We don't want a major war. But we ought to back them and protect them as much as we can and support them as much as we can. I'll answer the question. I looked the man in the eye. I found it to be very straightforward. I was able to um, get a sense of his soul. We have to remind ourselves we're on the same team. Vladimir Putin's not on our team. If we get to a point where uh, people in this country feel more affinity with uh, a leader who is an adversary and views the United States and our way of life as a threat to him, uh, then we're going to have bigger problems than just cyber hacking. The problem is not that Putin is smart, which of course he's smart, but the real problem is that our leaders are dumb. <laughs> dumb. Now you have Ireland and uh, Great Britain and, and uh, you know, uh, the Republic uh, uh, standing together against a murderous dictator a pure thug who is waging an immoral war against the people of Ukraine.